What we found is engravings in a shell which is 400,000 years old. This is the oldest engraving uh, that we're aware of, way older than, than we expected for this type of engraving. The location and the age of this really means that the uh, most likely candidate for making these engravings is Homo erectus. So this earlier species, Homo erectus, to be associated with these types of engravings really pushes back the, uh, the date when we can start talking about these cognitive abilities that allowed uh, a species to engrave a deliberate abstract geometric sort of pattern previously were thought to be in the domain of Homo sapiens, possibly Neanderthals as well. This had never been discovered um, before, even though they, these shells were collected more than 100 years ago by Eugène Dubois in the 1890s, even though they were studied in the 1930s. And even when I took the photograph itself, I never saw it. It only came up in the digital image. But once I opened up that picture, the first time I saw it, it was immediate. Those are engravings that have no other natural explanation. So there was two different dating methods used um, and we had dating experts in, in Europe who, who have done these datings. They fall somewhere in that age of about 500,000 years old or half a million years old. And this is unexpected for Trunil. People actually thought Trunil was older than that. So th this will cause a rewriting of the, uh, of the, the age and people to re-evaluate the age of not only Trunil but other sites in Java. Finding this particular bivalve, a shellfish, in the hands of Homo erectus, being engraved, used as tools, and uh, proven to be a food resource, I hope will encourage other scientists to look at shellfish as really a potentially important element in human evolution.